गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ मैटर कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ मैटर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कॉम्पोजिशन सब्सटेंसेस आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू प्योर सब्सटेंसेस एंड इम्प्योर सब्सटेंसेस द प्योर सब्सटेंसेस आर अगेन क्लासिफाइड इन टू एलिमेंट्स एंड कॉम्पाउंड एंड द इम्प्योर सब्सटेंसेस और मिक्सड सब्सटेंसेस आर again classified into homogeneous and heterogeneous substances the first one pure substances first we are going to discuss about pure substances pure substances are single substances it is defined as the substance which contains particles of the same kind with same properties examples gold silver and distilled water a pure substance is either an element or a compound the first elements substances that are formed by one kind or same kind of atoms are called elements compounds elements combine differently to form compounds a compound can be defined as a molecule which contains two or more elements combined together elements are of two types they are metals and non metals how do you differentiate between metals and non metals look at these ornaments closely do they shine or even the aluminum spoon does it shine of course both gold and aluminum have certain shine and this shine is called metallic luster now if a metal plate drops on the floor does it break into parts no that is because metals are really hard in nature how do you think huge aluminum sheets are made or sheets of copper or zinc are made if i take a hammer and beat them will they break or they turn into sheets it is a amazing property of metals to be beaten into sheets and we call this property of metals as malleability of metals most metals can be beaten into thin sheets another property of metal is that they can also be drawn into wires and this property is called ductility a single gram of gold can be drawn into a 2 km long wire drop a metal pan and we can hear a metallic sound this is another property of the metal we can call metals as sonorous because they produce sound when hit against a hard surface school bells church bells and temple bells are made up of metals next non metals non metals like carbon iodine and sulfur do not have luster that means they do not shine and and are brittle in nature brittle means they cannot be beaten into wires or sheets because they break when bent beaten or pressed non metals are non sonorous as they may not make any sound finally we are going to discuss about mixtures a mixture is an impure substance it contains two or more substances how do we get mixtures a mixture can be formed by mixing two or more substances mixtures are classified into two homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures first homogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture is a mixture whose components are soluble in each other for example when sugar is added to water it dissolve in water completely and we cannot see sugar particles in water other such example is milk which contains water and cream an alloy is a homogeneous mixture an alloy is a mixture of a metal 
with another metal or non-metal. For example, bronze is an alloy of copper and tin. Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. Next, heterogeneous mixture. A mixture whose components are not soluble in each other is called heterogeneous mixture. Soluble means that can be mixed with the another. For example, when oil is mixed in water, it doesn't get dissolved. The oil will float on water. I hope you have understood the topic. So, whatever doubts you have, please post in the group.